what's up? It's the Atlanta Logic Trainer. And right now I'm in the process of creating a series of videos on Logic Pro, working with the MPC Renaissance, just different workflows and things that I've come across that I think will be helpful. I'm in the process. I've been back and forth on the mpcforms.com website and answering a couple of questions and kind of talking to people about the videos that I've already created. And um, I came across a question from one of the members on that forum. Uh, shout out to uh, I Make Mad Beats. So he had this question here. And the question is basically based around sampling into the MPC Renaissance while it's a plug-in inside of Logic, but sampling in stereo. And I ran into the same issue when I first got the MPC Renaissance and also actually on machine when I first got it. Um, and you can sample in stereo. You just got to kind of understand what's happening inside of Logic as far as side chaining. So I'm going to show you actually how to do this. First, I'll show you kind of what's going on and kind of try to explain why it's not working kind of the way you think it should work. Um, and then I'll show you how to really make it work. It's real simple. So let's go over into Logic. And here in Logic, I have a software instrument track here with uh, the MPC uh, instantiated on it. And I'm going to open up my MPC plugin. And here in the MPC, um, in order to sample into the MPC, while it's a plugin, you actually have to do it through a process called sidechain. So up here in the top right corner of the plugin, you see where it says sidechain. And under the sidechain menu here, you get different options as far as depending on which interface you have connected, you have a certain amount of inputs available to you. Um, and this can be any interface. When the MPC is in your software as a plug-in, it will use any interface that's connected to the computer, which could be the interface that's built into the Renaissance, or it could be, you know, anything. My Duet is what I'm using right now. It could be uh, Inbox. It could be anything. So um, by default, it's usually on none when you first open up the plug-in. And uh, if you don't see this side chain menu at the top right corner of your plug-in, uh, you it could be hidden. See this little button right here at the top corner, right above the side chain menu. If you click that, it'll hide that whole menu in any plugin in Logic. So if you open up your plugin and you don't see the side chain menu there, click this button right here, and it should show you your side chain menu. So when I open the side chain menu, here are my two inputs uh, from my interface right now, which I'm using my Apogee Duet. And if I select input one here and then go to my uh, sample record tab. And you can do all of this from the MPC, of course. If I go back to my main screen and then hold down shift and hit the sample record button, it'll take me to the same window. So most recordings from a certain period in time, don't make me remember my history right now, but most recordings ever since they went to stereo, which stereo was a big thing when the recording industry finally was able to record and mix in stereo. All of those recordings have different information on the left side of the mix than they have on the right side of the mix. So when you're recording or sampling into your MPC, you usually want to sample that signal in stereo. Now there are some benefits to being able to isolate one side versus the other, especially if you get uh, some mixes like some jazz mixes that have basically the drums all on one side and everything else on another. And you can just pan them a certain way and just snatch the left side or the right side or whatever side the drum is in. And then you can get your drum loops from it. But in most situations, you have a stereo source and you want to record a stereo sample. So in your side chain menu, it will only allow you to select one of your inputs at a time. So input one or input two. Problem with that for stereo is your signal coming from whatever device you have connected is coming in probably, usually, always from two inputs. If it's stereo, it's coming in on input one, which will be the left side of that signal and input two, which will be the right side of that signal. So this is, you know, not allowing us to do what we want to do. So I'm just going to put it on input one and play the record here. And you'll see here in my meters inside the MPC software 
This is not the signal. That's just my turntable filling vibrations from my voice. But you'll see that the meters, you never get any different information on the left side of the meter than you do on the right side of the meter because it's getting the exact same signal from input one on both sides of the signal that's coming in. Even though I have it set up to record left and right. It's record on left and right for a stereo signal. So when I play the record, you look at these meters here. That's all mono. So what we want to do is uh, figure out a way to make that work. So let's just go. I'm going to hide my uh, plug in. And first, back to the question that uh, I make mad beats asked and something that he stated in there was that if you have a audio track with audio information on it, that's stereo information and the track is stereo, that if you side chain this audio track in, it would actually pick it up as stereo, which is confusing in a sense. So here's a audio track with some old Gladys Knight music on it. And it is a stereo track. You can tell in logic by looking at the meters on the channel strip and it's two meters. So the left side and the right side is a stereo track. And you can also tell by looking at the region, um, this little icon right here lets you know that it's a stereo audio file on here. So if I open back up my MPC Renaissance software and I choose this particular audio track, as my side chain because here's my audio track so any audio track that you have open in logic will show up as an available side chain also and if that track is stereo then it will listen to that signal as a stereo signal so i'm going to change it to audio one recorded audio which is the name of this track and if i play this track back now <laughs> And if you look at my meters, you'll see I'm getting different information on the left side and on the right side. See how they're jumping separately? So that's getting a stereo signal. But that's from audio that's already been recorded into the software. So you could record the audio into the software first and then do it that way, but that's, that's too much. But if you already have something that's on your computer, on a hard drive, just put it on an audio track that audio track will show up as a side chain here and then you can sample it right into the MPC. But that's not what we wanted to do either. So here's how you actually make it work from an external source like a turntable and actually record it in stereo also. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another audio track like we just had here a second ago. I'm gonna make that audio track stereo and I'm gonna create it. So here's my new audio track. And I'm gonna have this audio track listen to the inputs one and two coming from my uh, interface, which have my turntable plugged into it at this point. And here's where I can select my input for this track. Make sure the track is selected here and then the channel strip shows up in the inspector. And I'm gonna choose inputs one and two right now the output is what i want to change i'm going to change the output to a bus and i'm going to choose bus number one now the cool thing about the bus is that the bus is stereo even though it just says bus one you know if you used uh other softwares you the buses may be mono but in logic your bus can be stereo or mono. It just depends on what kind of track it's on. Since it's on a stereo track, it's a stereo bus. So if I go over here to my side chain menu and click on it down here at the bottom, there's bus one. And bus one, like I said, is stereo. So now if I play my song again, you'll see I'm getting different information on the left and the right side of my signal coming into the MPC. 
So now it's listening to a stereo signal. I can record it. And just like that, you got a stereo sample in here. You can see you got different information on this side than you have on that side. You can assign it to a pad, keep it, play it, do whatever you need to do. But that's how you sample in stereo with the MPC as a plug-in inside of Logic. Um, I hope this was helpful, especially to you uh, make mad beats on the MPC form. Um, thanks for the question. I really hadn't planned on doing a video on this, but it just made sense because I know I ran into the issue. And if you ran into the issue, that means somebody else is running into the issue. Please subscribe, like the video, share it with others, and I'll see you guys in my next video on my Logic MPC Renaissance series of workflows. Thanks for watching.